season opener. There's the kick by Capiz. It's a deep one that's going to be taken by Monk in the end zone. He comes out with it. 5, 10, breaks to the left side to the 20, finds a small hole and gets up around the 25-yard line. Oklahoma 5-2 defense. Let's see the first play. Man in motion. Early gets the ball, hands it off to Hartman. On the right side, he gets about five, six yards. It'll be number 40, Greg Williams. Here's Hurley back to pass. In the flat, it is complete to the 35. Coming in was Mike Smith, number 37. Okay, Bill Hurley now under center. Looks over the Seminole defense. Man in motion to the right side. Hurley gets the ball. Running to the right side, around in, cuts back, and he gets uh, good running room as he brings it across the midfield strike. Second down, about five to go. The ball right at the midfield strike. Hurley gets the ball. He hands it straight back to Hartman, and he's really hit. But I believe on the bottom of the stack is Ron Simmons. Smith was on him on the coverage, but... Uh, to now, there is Hartman. Uh, Muck it is, rather, across the 45. He picks up the first down. First and ten to go for the Orange, led by Buffalo Bill Hurley. He looks over the Seminole defense now. They've got uh, six men on the line. Hurley, right side, pitches back to Mark. Mark slips as he comes across the 45-yard line for the 11.56 to go in the first quarter. Flankers to the left, Seaball, and Williams. Man in motion is Mark. Here's Hurley, back to pass. Looks downfield. He's being pressured now by Simmons and Arthur Scott. He gets around Scott. He's down the sideline and finally knocked out of bounds. And there is Bill Hurley being assisted to the sidelines. It'll be a third down, three-yard situation. Forneski is the new quarterback now replacing Hurley. We've got a wide receiver to the left side. That is Williams. Forneski with the ball. He hands it off to Hartman right side. He spins, gets a yard two. Close to Seminole standing at the 10-yard line is Ivory Joe Hunter. There's a kick. It's going to easily carry into the end zone. No, it will not. It takes a backward roll and goes out of bounds at about the 19-yard line. For the first time now, they will have their ball at their 19-yard line. Jordan off to Lyles, left side, one yard. He's hit by number 82. Gain of one now, second and nine. The Seminoles at the 20. Here's a pitch back to Holmes Johnson in the ball game. He gets very little running room. Has maybe a yard on the play. Go. Third and seven. The ball at the Seminole 23-yard line. Flanker wide to the right. Flowers is a handoff now to Johnson. Johnson in the middle across the 25, and he breaks it up to the 27-yard line. Ball. And Ron Stark with a low snap gets a wobbly spiral upfield. It's going to be taken. They will not be taken. And he gets a tremendous roll at the 15-yard line. It's going to be down just inside the 15-yard line. About a 60-yard putt. We'll, uh, we'll have to get the stats for you on that putt. But a tremendous effort, a good roll by Ron Stark. Fernaski with the ball to the right side. The option cuts back, and he gets good yardage as he brings it across the 20-yard line. Can run the option for Syracuse. Full house backfield now, and there's a handoff to Hartman. He gets the first down as he builds his way across. And let's see if they'll again try the right side of their line. Here is Forneski. Rolls back, pitches out to Buck. Buck uh, fumbles the ball out of bounds at the 25 yard line. Pursued very well, as you described, by Scott Warren. Man in motion now to the near side. Here's Forneski back to pass. Looks downfield and shoots it out in the flat. Oh, it's incomplete to Seymour. Third down now. And about 13 yards to go for the Orange. Fernaski, the man in motion is Seamall. Here's Fernaski back to pass now. Downfield in the flat to Seamall. It's complete to the 30. And he is being wrestled out of bounds at about the 37 yard line. Orange will have to putt. And there is your putt. It's a high one. Wobbly. Fair catch call for by Jones at the 30. So the Seminoles will start from there. Well, I think the Seminoles would rather stay on the ground and uh, play ball control. That uh, seemed to be their game plan, but right now you see Jordan going way down deep, throws a long one, it is right through the hands of the intended receiver at the Syracuse 28-yard line. Give it Jordan, your quarterback. Your flankers are unglobbing flowers. Here is Jordan. Trap play, Lyles, 35-40, pulls his way to the 41-yard line. Going to be first to... Leads his team up to the huddle. Jordan once again. The wideouts are unglobbed to the near side. Flowers to the far side. Hand off to Lyles. He's driving with the 45 and carries just over the 45-yard line. Here is Jordan now with a second down pass play. Complete to Flowers inside the 50-yard line. That's a fine junior receiver from Jacksonville. 
Jordan with the ball now. Pitches back to Greg Ramsey, left side, finds a small hole, pulls his way inside the 40-yard line. 5.24 to go in the first quarter, no score. Jordan looks over that Syracuse defense. He gets the ball for Miles, who pulls his way up for about two yards on the play. Okay, a crucial third down play for the Seminoles now. Up there to keep the drive alive. Let's see what they do. They pitch it back wide to the right side. Here is uh, Greg Ramsey, and he's going to be very close. The Seminoles are about six inches away from a first down, deep in orange territory. Send the big plunging fullback into the middle of the line. 230 pounds of junior. Let's see. Jordan straight ahead has the first down yardage as he moves it very close to the 35. No score. Jordan with the first down at the Syracuse 36-yard line. Here's Jordan, back to pass, looking downfield, being pressured. He is going to throw the ball downfield. It is no good at the 20-yard line. Okay, wide to the top of your screen now is Jackie Flowers, and boy, is Mark Lyles really smacked by number 33, Jim Collins. But today, he has been Mr. Defense for Syracuse. Here's Jordan, back to pass now, looking downfield. He shoots, it is dropped by Unglob, who tried for a diving catch at the 18-yard line earlier this quarter. Good snap, Stark angling for the left sideline, and let's see, it's gonna hit at the three-yard line, bounce into the end zone for an automatic touchback. So we have not uh, gotten a report on him. We'll try to bring you up to date as we hear it here in the television booth. Here's Finesky, hands off to Hartman, and he's sacked by Walter Carter. Second and 10, the ball at the 20-yard line. No gain on that previous play. Here is Forneski, pitch back to Hartman. Hartman running room, and he is finally knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Ball spotted at the 28-yard line. It'll be third down, about two yards to go. Let's see if the Seminoles can hold on this very crucial third down play. Forneski with a man in motion left is Buck. Forneski to Hartman. Hartman hits in there, and the left side of that defensive forward wall, the orange will put it away. A low snap, there is the ball, a high. Booming spiral, taken in by Keith Jones at the 30, and he's dumped at that point. A great, great downfield tackle. By okay, let's see what Jordan calls for the first and 10 at his 30. Here is Jordan, a hand back to Johnson. Left side, running room, 35, 40, 45, 46 yard line. Holmes Johnson found a gaping hole up 16 yard pickup, Gene, on the play. Fine running. Here's a pitch back now on the other side, and he's going to be not so fortunate this time. Oh, very strong. Loss of one, second and 11. Jordan back to pass now. Downfield, he shoots. Complete the Flowers. Flowers to the 30, 25, 20, 18. He's down. But a flag, I believe, has fallen. They indicated motion penalty. So, second down now, and 16 to go for the Seminoles. Here's Jordan, hands it back to uh, Holmes Johnson. Johnson, 45, 50, cuts back to 45, and he is at the 41-yard line. It'll be a first down, and uh, that's the quarter. And at the end of the first quarter of action here at Archibald Stadium, the score is Florida State nothing. And Syracuse, 41-yard line. Jordan gets the ball, back to pass, looking downfield. Good field position. There is a pass. Oh, my flowers at the one Pitched by Jackie Jackson. Flowers. Here goes Jordan. Fake handoff to Johnson. Stacks up the linebackers. Jordan throws the deep bomb. Here's Flowers between two receivers. Circus catch and nearly a touchdown. Seminoles with the first scoring opportunity of the ball game and close a yard out. Here's Jordan now. Hands it off to Lyles. Lyles into the middle. Let's see. Did he get it? Is he going to be stopped close to the goal line? Okay, let's look ahead now. Straight ahead, Jordan, touchdown. So the Seminoles have their first touchdown of the 1978 season on a quarterback steak from one foot away by the junior quarterback from Tallahassee, Leon, Jimmy Jordan. Jimmy Jordan, quarterback keeper, second time today we've seen that play. Down. Snap, placement, kick. It is good. And the Seminoles now come back on the field and the score, the Florida State Seminoles seven, the orange of Syracuse, nothing. To piece up on the ball, he kicks it high, twisting at the goal line. It's taken by Warren Carter. He's down the far left sidelines, and he is going to be knocked out of bounds on a fine return. The ball at the Syracuse, 37-yard line. Now, Franaski with a man in motion to the right is Seamall. He fumbles the ball momentarily, shoots it out in the flat to Seamall, and he's dumped hard by Ivory Joe Hunter. 
The exchange from center to Varneski is different and causing problems. Slot back is Seymour. He goes in motion to the top of your screen. Varneski back to pass once again. Being pressured, shoots in the flat, and he is hit immediately by Ivory Joe Hunter again. Will be short of a first down. A third down, short yardage to go. We've got a regular T formation, full house backfield, if you please. Varneski, the quarterback, looks over the center of the defense. He hands it back to Hartman. Flag goes down, and let's see, he's battling for yardage. And I believe we're going to have motion called against Syracuse. Well, let's see if the Seminoles can contain the orange on this critical third down situation. Vanaski rolling back, looking downfield, shoots. It is no good. And a brilliant defensive play. And back in double safety for the Seminoles, Keith Jones and Ivory Joe Hunter. And once again, a booming uh, spiral. And Keith Jones, once again, at the 25-yard line. Bob McLeod, who's keeping statistics for us here. Pitch back to Johnson, Johnson, 30, 35, and he pulls his way for yardage. The sophomore from Haynes City. At the bottom of your screen now, Jackie Flowers, who made one tremendous reception of a Jimmy Jordan aerial to set up the first touchdown, the only touchdown so far. Here's Jordan to Lyles. Lyles uh, around at Johnson up to the 45-yard line. Okay, Jordan looking over the defense now. Second down and uh, two-yard situation for the Seminoles. Here is Jordan back to pass, looking for the long one. It's uh, going to be complete to tight end, number 86, Bill Keck, who was wide open. Another first down for the Seminoles, who are driving again now. The ball at the Syracuse 45-yard line. Here is Jordan. Jordan to Lyles, and he's really popped at the line of scrimmage. And that time, a low exchange from Jordan to Lyles. Second and 10 to go. Jordan back to pass. Big pressure out in the flat. He shoots it to Lyles. He's got it at the 50, 45, cuts back, and goes inside the 40-yard line. Third down now, and about three to go. Jordan back to pass. Downfield, he shoots it is No good. Intended for Unglob at the 25-yard line. And he is a freshman. He gets a good snap. Angling for the right sideline. It's a high wobbly kiss. Going to hit at the 10-yard line. to be down at that point by Nate Henderson. Nine minutes and four seconds remaining in the first half. The Seminoles with a 7 to nothing score over the Syracuse Orange. Here's Franaski back to pass in the flat. He shoots. Seminoles got it at the 20-yard line. He's passing down at that point. Way back in the first quarter, and he has not come, in, come back onto the field of play. Was taken from the dressing room. We have no report. Here is Fernaski now, the quarterback, and he is smothered behind the line of scrimmage as Walter Carter, number 76. Let's see now what Fernaski will call. He has a wide receiver left and one to the right, and he's going to be hit and dropped short on first down yardage. In case uh, we'll bring that in just a moment. There you'll see a putt now coming downfield, and once again, Keith Jones will handle the ball at the 45-yard line, and he's going to be really smothered, fumbles the ball out of bounds, and there's going to be a flag thrown. With Who put on the jersey over his number 94, made a vicious hit on Keith Jones. So that moves the line of scrimmage to the 24-yard line. Here is Jordan. He hands it off to Johnson. Johnson short yardage as he comes across the 25, and he is really met. By okay, the ball now at the 27-yard line. It's a second down and eight-yard situation. Jordan back pass. Good protection downfield. He's got his man, Grady King, at the 42-yard line. We've got a lot of host of people watching the game from the Brothers Three. Here's Jordan, back to pass again. Downfield, he shoots. Complete the Flowers at the 35. He curls in and gets a couple more yards. And another tremendous effort by Jackie Flowers. And I'll tell you, against the Syracuse Orange, you cannot uh, lay down for one minute. Here is Jordan once again. And a uh, handoff to Johnson, who pulls his way to the 30-yard line. Okay, Jimmy Jordan now. And uh, there's movement on the offensive line because they were uh, about six inches away from a f first down on third, and they were forced illegal motion against the Seminoles, and it penalized five yards. It'll be a situation. Jordan dumps it off to Johnson. Johnson, 35, 30, out of bounds, inside the 30-yard line. And helmeted Syracuse Orange defensive players made that stop. They're really pursuing the football much better now than they were earlier. Third down, here's Jordan, back to pass, downfield. He shoots, complete the flowers to the 24-yard line. And at the bottom of the screen will be number 87, Philip Williams. Here is Jordan. Pitch back to Johnson. Reverse off to Platt. Here he comes to the 30-yard line. Running room 25, 20, 15, 10. He's knocked out of bounds at the 9-yard line. A reverse off to Sam Platt. Sam Platt, the fine little sophomore from Jacksonville, sets up a first and goal to go at the 9-yard line. Here's Jordan. Off to Johnson. Johnson bangs at the line of scrimmage. Uh, so it'll be a second and goal to go for the Seminoles. Jordan still the quarterback. He's gone all the way for the Seminoles here in the first half. 
Jordan gets the ball. Back to pass, looking downfield. He shoots. It is intercepted in the end zone by number 24, and he's filled at the three-yard line by the intended receiver, number 22, Holmes Johnson. Terry O'Leary intercepts Jordan, and the Syracuse Orange now take over on a brilliant interception in the end zone and they have the ball at their four-yard line. There is a hit of Monk as he comes up to the five-yard line. Short yardage. This is WCTV Channel 6, Tallahassee, Thomasville. Glad you're watching our broadcast this afternoon. Second and eight from the five. Now for the orange, Panaski is the quarterback. And here's Panaski rolling to the right side. He's going to be hit, and a flag is thrown as he brings it up for a short yardage. Gene, the penalty will move the ball to the 10-yard stripe, and it'll be a second down at about three yards to go for the Syracuse. Encroachment on the Seminole defensive line. Illegal procedure. Franaski with a ball. Short yardage to Hartman, who bangs up to the 14-yard line. But the Seminoles with a 7-0 lead with less than two minutes to play. Here is a man in motion. Art Muck to the left side. Franaski gets the signals. Back to pass. Being pressured somewhat. He's going to be hit and thrown behind the 15-yard line. Loss of one on the play. Second and 11. The ball spotted at the 13-yard -yard line of Syracuse. Bernaski gets the ball, now he hands it off to Hartman. Hartman finds a small hole, but he is pinned down at the 17-yard line of the Syracuse Orange. Now then, let's see what Fernaski will do with third and eight to go. He has a man in motion to the right side. Williams, he's back to pass. Now he looks downfield, he shoots in the flat for Williams. He's going to be hit at the 20-yard line. Porowski, standing at his 47-yard line, is Ivory Joe Hunter. The Seminoles tried for a block. Another booming, wobbly spiral that will hit and take reverse English once again and be rolled dead right at the midfield strike. And Wally Woodham has come in at quarterback. He takes the place of Jimmy Jordan on this, what could be the final play of the quarter. It is complete to Bill Keck at the 24-yard line. Six seconds, and the clock will stop for the first down. Syracuse will jam up the middle now and try to block this kick. And let's see if Capellan can do it. He'll have the wind at his back. There is a kick up. It is going to be short and no good and let's see the scoreboard clock indicates one second remaining one second to go Pernaski back to pass looking downfield being pressured now breaks out of it and he's going to be dropped by Arthur Scott at the 27 yard line as time has expired here at Archbowl Stadium and these halftime activities will get underway the score Florida State University 7 Syracuse University and long. The deep man is Johnson. He takes it at the four-yard line. The 10, 15. Small hole. He gets to the 22-yard line. It's Florida State 22 carries for 107. Syracuse 20 for 59. We'll get back to it right now. Jordan looking to pass downfield. He shoots complete to unglob at the 37-yard line. And where it's a Seminole first down. Jimmy Jordan now looks over the Syracuse defense. Hands it in to Lyles. Big hole. Mark goes across the 45, across the 50, still driving at the 45-yard line. The junior from Buffalo. Okay, let's see what Jordan will do this time. Jordan with the ball, back to pass in the flat. He hits Flowers. Good block by Henderson. Springs Flowers in the 40, and he's down to the 37-yard line. From the point of the infraction, the ball goes back 15 to the 37-yard line. Now, it'll be first and 28 at that point. Jordan, once again, gets the ball. This time he hits it off Johnson. Johnson gets a small hole, and he gets to the 40-yard line. And Wally Woodham completed one pass, but the Tribe 9 of 14 with one interception. Here's Jordan back to pass now. Downfield, he looks. He is going to be hit and slowed under at the 34-yard line. A loss of four on the plate, third and 32 now. Jordan, once again, looking to throw the ball, and he does, and he completes it to Grady King. At about the 42-yard line, hanging on to a 7-0 lead over the Syracuse Orange. There is a putt by Stark into the wind. Fair catch call for at the 27-yard line. 31-yard putt by Stark that time, and the Syracuse Orange have the ball at the 27-yard line. Paleski back to pass in the flat. He hits Mark, and he is knocked down at the 34-yard line. Second and three for the Orange. The ball at their 34-yard line. Paleski is the quarterback. Gets the ball, runs back to the right side of the option. He's met and dropped, and uh, number 50, Ron Simmons, leading the charge. 31 to go, a critical third down situation for the Seminole defense, and equally as well for the Syracuse offense. There is a flat pass. It is no good, as it is short. 
Double safety for the Seminoles, Hunter and Jones, and that time the Seminoles trying to block that kick. There is Keith Jones, and he calls for a, he does not call for a fair catch. Good punt courage on the punt by Syracuse. The Seminoles with the first and 10, they're 27. Here is Jordan, over the middle to Holmes Johnson, 30-yard line, he gets a block, cuts back, and he's gonna be stopped at the 34-yard line. Holmes Johnson, Jordan. Gives the ball to Lyles. Hole left side, 40, 42 yard line. Mark Lyles. Jimmy Jordan now with the flankers to the left side. Jackie Flowers to the right. Phil Williams. Here is Jordan back to pass, looking downfield. He shoots and is no good. Incomplete. Second down now, still 10 yards to go. Pitch back to Johnson. Johnson with blockers, 45. Cuts back, 50. He's inside. Syracuse territory at about the 47-yard line. Another first down. The ball at the Syracuse 47-yard line. The Seminoles driving third quarter. Jordan with the ball up the middle. Johnson, one yard. And a fumble. Let's see. Second down, nine to go. Jordan, flags fly. Jordan's going to be hit and dumped way back at the 35-yard line. This time, the infraction will take it back only five. Well, nullified a long leader for the Seminoles, and of course, the drive stalled. Here's Jordan off the pass again. In the flat, he shoots to Lyles. He's got a little running room. He cuts back to the inside, the 40, inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. That's been a big gain for the big guy. Here's Jordan now, third down situation. Uh, in the right flat to unglob, and unglob catches the football. Enough for a first down if it's first down Florida State. Jimmy Jordan directing the offense, hands it off to Lyles. He's hit, gets to about the 31-yard line. Up in Georgia and Valdosta playing well. Second down, nine. Jordan back deep to pass. Over the middle, he shoots, and it's no good. Intended for the state score of the only touchdown on a one-yard dive by Jimmy Jordan. That with 13 minutes left in the second quarter. Still third and nine. Jordan once again back to pass. In the flat to Lyles, and it's knocked down and almost intercepted. If, well, the Seminoles are going to attempt a 47-yard field goal now with Bill Capice, number 17, the sophomore. There's the placement. It is blocked. It is blocked. And the Seminoles are scrambling for it. The Syracuse are scrambling for it. The Seminoles have recovered the football at the 40-yard line, and that might have turned things around for the Orange. First and 10 to go, and of course that brings the crowd alive here at Archbold Stadium. And now as Forneski directs an attack, and he heads it off to his fullback right into the middle of the line. He's met by Jeremy Midland. Six minutes to go, third quarter. Syracuse driving on the Seminoles now. Man in motion, top of the screen is Seymour. Here's Forneski back to pass. He's going to be hit by Simmons. He gets away, and then he falls down as Ron Simmons that time. And prevent being plastered in his backfield by Ron. Third and seven now. A big third down play for the Orange. Man in motion to the bottom of your screen. Art Mark once again. Forneski fading back. Downfield, he shoots and is no good. Intended for a buck in the flat at the 30-yard line. He slipped down the 44-yard line. line, Gene. He'll be kicking into a win. If good, it will be a 54-yard. It looks to me like it's going to be short, and it is. Just right under the goal post. So the Seminole defense is held once again. Gene, Wally is in there right now replacing Jimmy Jordan at quarterback. Here is Woodham, back to pass, downfield, shoots in the flat. It is complete to Johnson, 50-yard line, inside the 45-yard line off Syracuse. 45 yards to Pater for the Seminoles. Wally Woodham directing the attack now. Marks the signals, gets the ball, hands it to Johnson, small hole, 40-yard line, inside the 40 at the 39. The only score on the ball game with 13 minutes left in the second period when Florida State scored on a Jimmy Jordan dive. Woodham. Gets the ball, has difficulty. He's going to eat the ball at the 45-yard line. He almost dropped the football. At that time, a little difficulty in handling the exchange from center to quarterback. Third and about eight and a half to go for the Seminoles now. Big third down play. Here is Woodham back to pass. He's being pressured downfield. He shoots. It's a little bit too far. And for Wally Woodham. Here is Stark. And he gets a wobbly spiral coming up field and uh, taken right there. And a penalty is going to be called against the Seminoles. There have only been two turnovers uh, in the ball game. One on an intercepted pass in the end zone uh, that stymied a Florida State thrust in the first half. And of course, the block punt a few minutes ago by Syracuse. They have the ball now at their 31-yard line, first and 10 to go. Forneski, quarterback, he ends it off number 47. He's stacked up right in the middle of the line. Uh, first man to hit him was number 50, Ron Simmons, from Syracuse, New York, on the campus of SU. 
two wideouts at the bottom of your screen with a man in motion right side. Frenesky back to pass in the flat. He's got his man, Williams, and he's knocked down at the 38-yard line. Good play by Ivory Joe Hunter. Number 29 is in the ballgame. We'll pick up his name for you in just a moment. There is a man in motion top of the screen. That's Seymour. Here is Frenesky passing downfield. He's got his man at the 46-yard line of the Seminoles. The ball at the 46-yard line. Frenesky using his air arm now. And once again, back pedals, looking downfield, shoots. It is almost intercepted as the ball was thrown high outside of his uh, offensive right tackle. Frenesky, second and ten to go. Downfield, it's uh, incomplete as he attempted to get it to. And let's see what Frenesky will call this time. The quarterback replacing Heisman uh, Trophy candidate Hurley. He's going to be hit by Carter again at the 45-yard line. Let's see, I see a red flag. And the Seminoles are penalized five yards. The ball will be at the Seminole 41-yard line. Let's see what Farneski calls. Man in motion to the right side is Ishman. Here is Farneski, back to pass, rolling wide to the right. He is going to be hit and dropped by three white jersey Seminoles. Two secondary. That Double safety for the Seminoles now. And there is a wobbly spiral. It will hit at the five-yard line. It's going to be down, I believe, at about the one or two-yard line. A great kick. Backs the Seminoles up to their two-yard line. 98 yards to go to the land of milk and honey. Here is Jordan back to pass. Downfield, he shoots a long one. It is no good at the 40-yard line intended for Jackie Flowers. Second down now, the ball at the Seminole two-yard line. A handoff to Lyles, a little running room as he pulls his way up to about the four-yard line where it'll bring up a third down. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter with a score at Syracuse, Florida State, seven. Syrac now the Seminoles are deep in their own territory facing a third and long situation, Billy. Okay, Jordan, once again, back to pass, looking downfield. He shoots. It is complete to unglob. 20-yard line, 25, 30, 35, 40. He's out of bounds at the 30, 43-yard line. No penalty flags. The First and 10 at their own 40-yard line. Jimmy Jordan, the Winchester rifle, gets the ball. He hands it off to Johnson. Small hole, 50, 45-yard line, 40-yard line, 35-yard line. He's out of bounds inside the 35-yard lines of Syracuse. Directing the attack. Flanker, top of the screen, Flowers, handoff to Lyles. Lyles right side, 30, driving inside the 25 at the 24. Gene, we'll check that out for you. Second down, ball to Lyles. Lyles, 20-yard line. He's pulling his way at the 15-yard line. 13.44 to go in this ball game. The Seminoles, 7 nothing over the Syracuse Orange. Pitch back to Johnson. Johnson, 15-10, inside the 10-yard line. Goes Holmes Johnson. The condition of these two lines facing one another right now, late in the fourth, early in the fourth quarter. Here is Jordan to Johnson. Johnson at the 6-yard line. A gain of about two on the play. 12.30 to go in the ball game. Seminoles trying to add to their 7 to nothing lead. Here's Jordan to Lyles. He bucks in across the five-yard line, and it's going to be another first down. No flags. The Jackie Flowers is the only flanker. He is to the right. Here is a touchdown pass to Grady King. The tight end as Jordan breaking into the line. A little play action right over the middle to the tight end, Grady King. He was all alone in the end zone, Gene, and the Seminoles have scored He's in the fourth and final period. There is the placement. The kick is up, and it's perfect. And as the teams come back upfield, the score, Florida State, 14, Syracuse, nothing. On safety, coming up fast, Monk Bonasort. Ishman, number 29, he is flanked wide at the top of the screen. Here's Fanaski back to pass, being pressured by Carter. Over the middle, it's complete to Monk, but right on the situation is number 39, Reggie Herring. Syracuse versus Florida State. Syracuse called the timeout. It's a 14-0 ball game. Florida State on top. Farneski replaced Hurley in the first quarter. He's at a quarterback. Third and seven now. Farneski back. A deep pass pattern way downfield. It is almost intercepted by Mike Smith. There on the replay. And once again, the Syracuse Orange will put the ball and not a very good kick off the side of his foot. Takes reverse English and comes back upfield. The Seminoles will be in great field position. Wally Woodham now at quarterback for the Seminoles. The ball at the 43-yard line. Here's Woodham back to pass downfield. He shoots. He's got his man. And let's see. It is no good. No good. The knee is holding up, though. That's good news. Here's Woodham now with Williams. 
Flanker near side and Platt to the left side. Holmes Johnson running room, left side around the corner, 40, 35, cuts back, out of bounds. At the 30-yard line, a yellow flag on Terry O'Leary, who hit him after he was out of bounds. Personal foul it will be, and we'll have 15 yards further toward the Syracuse goal line. He can really carry the football. We had him unofficially with 106 yards before he ran that time. Wally Woodham now, the quarterback. With him at the 14-yard line, hands it off to Jones. This time, not much running room as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Ball at the 15-yard line. Wally Woodham gets the ball. Back to pass. Looking downfield. Shoots in the end zone. Touchdown! Jackie Flowers. 14-yard pass. Jackie Flowers had a couple of steps on the defensive back, and Wally Woodham lays it in there perfectly. Let's watch the point attempt now. The ball is down. The kick is up, and it's good as the teams come back up the field. The Seminoles breaking it open here in the fourth and final stanza. The score, Florida State, 21. Syracuse nothing. Hit high and dropped it right into his lap. Art Muck and Warren Carter back deep now to receive the kickoff. It's Carter at the four-yard line. He starts 10, 15, 20, gets a hole. Uh, one Seminole misses him, and then a jarring tackle. Uh, that number 54 you pointed out, and he hit Ivory Joe from behind. Ivory Joe Hunter is up, though, and apparently no damage done to Seminoles now, showing a 21 to nothing margin over the Syracuse Orange. Forneski with the ball at their 16-yard line. Leads the Syracuse. He fumbles the ball, but he falls on it. A loss of two now. It'll be second and 12. The ball at the 13-and-a-half-yard line. Man in motion to the right side. Here's Fineski back to pass. Looks downfield. He shoots. It is incomplete. Way over the head of third and 12. Ball at the 13-and-a-half-yard line. Fineski. Back to pass once again at the five-yard line. Being pressured, he breaks out of there. He's to the 10, the 15, and Reggie Herring knocks him off his feet as he comes to the 18-yard line. Will punt the football, almost blocked in there. Not too good a punt, but he does get a good roll as it rolls out of bounds at the Syracuse 45-yard line. The ball spotted at the 45 and a half yard line. Here's Woodham back to pass. Good protection over the middle. He shoots. Complete to Kennedy. Kennedy at the 40 is wrestled down at that point. Bill Hurley, potential Heisman Trophy candidate, certainly an All-American, going out with cracked ribs. Unfortunate for the Syracuse Orange. Wally Woodham hands it in to Gator Cherry, number 31. A yellow flag flies. The white outs are Grady King, Phil Williams, and Sam Platt. Right, second and ten to go for the Seminoles. Woodham is the quarterback. Here's a pitch back to Kennedy. Reverse off to Platt. Here comes Platt. 45-yard line, 40-yard line, 35, 30, 25, out of bounds at the 20-yard line. First down, ball at the 18-yard line. Woodham, quarterback. Here's Woodham. Hand off Cherry. Cherry back across the green inside the 10-yard line. He's driving to the 8-yard line. Wally Woodham now. Wide out, top of the screen is Sam Platt. Here is Woodham. Woodham off to the ball. Uh, to Cherry. He's going to score. Beautiful blocking on the right-hand side. A nine-yard burst by William Gator Cherry. And the Seminoles have increased the lead to 27-0 with 7-0-1 to go. Enough credit to that Seminole offensive uh, line today. They have really moved these bigger Syracuse defensive uh, stalwarts right out of there. And the Seminoles have amassed some yardage. The extra point's good as the teams come back upfield. The score. Florida State, 28, Syracuse, nothing. It's a 28 to nothing ball game. Florida State has just scored with 7-0-1 left. The new quarterback now for the Orangemen. It'll be Tim Wilson, third-string quarterback. He hands it off to his uh, trailing back. No, he slips it in, and he goes to the opposite to the right side. The Seminole defense is still first unit strong. They need all the experience they can get for a very rugged 10 more games left on the schedule. Ball at the 28-yard line now. Second down, eight to go for the Orangemen. Wilson, the quarterback, gets the ball. Option to the right side, hole, and he moves the ball up close. For the option, he's going to carry the football. He's an option quarterback. Third and one, and Mr. Simmons welcomes him to Archbold turn. As that time, the big sophomore from Warner Robins fell back in uh, punt formation, 15-yard line. There's his punt, and the spinner is going to hit at the 45, take reverse English back into Syracuse territory. They are... Trying to down the football, they finally do at the 39-yard line. Ron Hester now is a tight end in the ball game, third string tight end. Here is Woodham, pitch back to Kennedy. Kennedy bobbles the ball, cuts back 35 inside the 35 at the 34. Wally Woodham is your quarterback now, second down and about five yards to go. Here is Woodham back to pass, downfield. He shoots a long one, intended for Platt, and almost.
almost intercepted in the end zone. Third down, a little over five yards to go now. Woodham calls the signals. The ball at the Syracuse 34-yard line. Here's Woodham. He hands it off to Kennedy, and he's going to be smacked for a loss back at the 36-yard line. The Syracuse 49 try to angle that ball out of bounds. He kicks it high. It's going to hit at the three and go into the end zone for an automatic touchback. So we thought it'd be a lot closer. Okay, first and ten for the Orangemen now. The ball set up at their 20-yard line. Wilson is the quarterback. A fumble. Bad scrambles. 20-yard line. Let's see. Follow your favorite team on Eyewitness Sports with Bob Warren. 6 and 11 every night on Channel 6. Okay, there is a beautiful defensive play over there. Let's With 2.31 remaining on the clock here in the fourth and final period. Wilson hands it off to his running back. He's stacked up. And once again, Arthur Scott in to hit the ball carrier first. And Keith Jones. There is the kick. And once again, Warren almost. There's a fumbled football by Keith Jones as he attempted to catch that. Jader Carey went in for a touchdown from nine yards out. Here's a pass now from Woodham to the freshman, Milt Razor, with the good feeling of winning a very important ball game in this season. The first game here at Archbowl Stadium. Here's Woodham. Woodham a handoff to number 26, and uh, he cuts it the 45, 40 yard line. First down. At first and ten to go for the Seminoles, and the spirit of the Orange Man has been broken here in the second half. Woodham, handoff to Keith Kennedy, 30, 30 yard line, 25 yard line. He cuts back and knocked out of bounds at the 18 yard line. 54 seconds to go. Woodham driving the Seminoles once again, trying to get another touchdown here. I guess if you're wondering uh, why do they want to run it up, uh, we're not scheduled to play Syracuse again, Gene. Florida State on top and will win it 28 to nothing or perhaps more. Here's Woodham. He heads it off to Kennedy once again in the middle of the line at the 15-yard line at 5-4, 3, 